All right, welcome back, everybody. We're here with Juice Box number 21. I am Rickles. I'm joined here by me. Wow. What's up, everyone? I'm pointing We've in the got... wrong direction, by the way. You are pointing the wrong it, It's mirrored. It's weird. I have to point to my left, even though you're on my right. Um, because our like cameras are being mirrored in the in the vmix call. Oh man, but we've had quite the insane tournament run, man. 512 competitors, only three to remain. And uh, we just saw Ned get the revenge on Skittles here for fourth place. So Skittles eliminated at fourth. Now at this point, again, every match is effectively a money match. So we're going to see Ned versus Kirby Kid. And this is a rematch from last night at Xanadu where Ned and Kirby Kid went 2-1 in Ned's favor. So Kirby Kid showed he can take games on Ned. But I, I see Ned do some nasty stuff to K. Rule. So we're going to see it come into play here. Pokemon Trainer versus King K. Rule. Uh, starting out for the losers finals, the winner of this set will go on to face Meister to see who will be the champion of Juice Box number twenty-one. Yeah, I'm definitely really interested to see. Uh, of course, like I, I have no doubt that we're gonna see Ned's PT come out. Um, that's just like, what else would he play in this matchup? And Ned, you know, being one of the best Pokemon trainer players in the world, offline and online, I'm very, very curious to see what the what the God Master overlord k rule of kirby kid can do here because like yeah kirby gets fantastic but i think this matchup is probably one of k rule's worst uh yeah uh, ivy sword against heavies in general is just an onslaught and then squirtle is also just a beast against uh these heavy characters as well and that's been in the lab i've seen decimate like honestly three k rules in the last 24 hours kirby kid being one of them so battlefield is the pick for game one this is losers finals guys the winner of this will advance the grand finals uh the the, the right at the top we gotta update that it's uh but then yes this is in fact losers finals chat asking me to show my waifu collection i'll make you a deal if kirby kid takes uh takes game one i will show two waifus on cams in between these and in, in between the game gets the <laughs> dash attack combo coming out from kirby kid really clean stuff and now we got ned with the ledge trap this is where ned excels but it doesn't matter quick get up onto the stage he gets thrown off the stage and now he's at the oh what a pokemon swap the squirtle got eaten alive by that down air Oh, for the crown head. hit, but not going to be able to connect with the F tilt, getting caught by the grab. Not going to be able to do much. All right, here we go. But Ned, just absolutely preventing Kirby Kid from getting onto the stage safely. He's got to pay the tax. He's got to pay the toll. The only character in this game that can get away with tax fraud is Yoshi, and this ain't that kind of storm. Yeah, something I've learned about watching Ned for like honestly like the last five years is this is his character counter counterplay and his adaptation to player habits. So uh, he has a really good uh, knowledge of what to avoid from King K. Rule, and his, his spacing has been just kind of insane in this matchup in particular. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Ned got the offer here uh, to close the stock. Otherwise, Kirby Kid might find a good opening. Up throw is not going to be enough on K. Rule. K. Rule is a heavy boy. That's enough. Though. Up smash is going to do it though. K. Rule going to die off the top on that battlefield blast zone. Uh, yeah, the crown disappeared and respawned on K. Rule, get, get, vanishing from Squirtle's hand. He's got the magic tricks, man. This this uh this K. Rule, man. This Croc has got some answers. Making the crown reappear, dude. Let him vibe. Ned right. though, catch him. Oh, up. No. <laughs> I I saw uh, Kirby Kid's life flash before his eyes there. Because everyone who's watched Ned before has seen him do that thing where he just does three up airs in a row and you die for it. Yeah, good on Kirby Kid DIing away from the center platform. Otherwise, he would have been in for at least one more up air, perhaps a, a stock closing blow. So really good armor there from the forward tilt. Got a bit back on the stage. Ned is very careful in this matchup. I've just seen him talk about it on his stream. Uh, Kirby Kid, though, let's see what he can do. Uh, obviously, both of these players want grand finals. Up throw is enough wow, on Charizard. Nice up throw from Kirby Kid. Yeah, going to connect there and take the stock. Ned pulling Squirtle back oh, out. Jab reset. That's going to be a stock. Let's go. Squirtle closing that stock, making this a far easier game now for uh, Pokemon Trainer. Let's see if he can get a combo game started. Yep, there we go. Squirtle combo game. He dashes up between some of those up tilts as well. So uh, just to extend the combo, the combo even further, because there's kind of like a dead zone on Squirtle's up tilt. It's actually like what you see is what you get kind of hitbox. Not a very generous one. And this down oh. throw in the air. Going to look for the connection with the oh, backer. Going to no. find even more with the up air. What a string from Ned. And he's just absolutely decimated yep. Kirby Kid. And there goes Harry. the cross. That was a 
dominant two stock to come out. Yeah, Perry Ford Smash will be closing the game there. And I'm just getting some nasty flashbacks of, you know, just Ivysaur versus any heavy in general, man. I feel the pain. This guy's from my region, man. I fought him in, like, offline bracket, like, five or six times. And it probably suffered very much against that Ivysaur. Oh, absolutely, man. And just so much trauma from fighting both his Pokemon trainer and Tweak's Pokemon trainer. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, it's just, you know, one of those matchups that you don't have to play. But I don't think Kirby Kid has another character, so I think he's just going to ride it out. That's one of my waifus, guys. It's the the Team Liquid mascot. Team Liquid one, yeah. I, hey, I told you I would show two if uh, if Kirby Kid took game <laughs> one. So maybe maybe I'll show you a second one. I've got another one resting on my desk right here, right next to Blue. Maybe just maybe I'll make it a show. All right, yeah. Uh, Ned convincing game one. Uh, he's very confident against the fighting heavy character, man. So uh, they might run it back, or they might run it to small battlefield. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a really good stage, both for Ivysaur and a K. Rule, but uh, again, Ned's counterplay to King K. Rule's options has just been so strong. All right, here comes the Squirtle combos. He's been practicing these in the lap for a long time. Will he go for Uppy? Yeah, but it won't kill, because uh, Blast Zone's not that close. Uh, the good yeah, that, that from... Uppy is just nuts. But yeah, like, good DI from Kirby Kid. He shouldn't die from that. This is going to be a down air parade, though. No, actually, Kirby Kid making it back to the ledge safely and taking a whole lot of extra, um, extra percent off of that nair during the belly armor. That same, uh, that same combo with Squirtle, I've seen it uh, just eliminate a Carol stock at 60 on Pokemon Stadium. But the Battlefield Blast Zones are a little bit more generous, and uh, there we go. Force Smash is going to be enough to catch the landing. This is quite a convincing, commanding losers finals for Ned. Yeah, like I, I, so I, a little bit of background chat. I mentioned it in the, in the caster chat, like during our break. I was like, Kirby Kid's fantastic, but I just don't see Ned losing this. And right here, Ned's proving uh, me right. Akron's kind of throwing away a stock. That's 20%, man. That's how confident he is. You don't do that unless you're confident. There's, there's no way Ned would have thrown away that stock unless he didn't Obi? know he could win. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Fantastic play and air dodging back to stage. Looking for the spike, but Kaylee's pretty much safe from those interactions. He would have wanted the disjoint that Ivysaur has to offer from his. Oh! oh that is a setup. What yeah. option? There's also an option to do that with a Squirrel's Withdraw. That's actually amazing against K. Rool. We Maybe we'll see it later on. There might not be a later on the way that this set is playing out, my friend. All right. Well, we're guaranteed to lose one more game after this. Forward air, a brilliant move right there. It does have a sour stop, but you get the sweet spot more than enough to eliminate that stock. And now this is a really terrible spot when you consider the fact that Ned's only taking 60% this game. And from a character like Bayroll to only deal 60%, that says a lot. Especially in Losers Finals, what the heck's going on? This is this is just a, a massacre. Kirby Kid is is just struggling hard against this, this Pokemon trainer. And it's it's a bad matchup. Let's let's be real. Like PT is a top tier. K Rool is not. And Ned is showing us exactly why. Yeah, Ivy Sword against Heavies is absolutely brutal. Oh, good forward air though. Good air, uh, but enough. it's still not going to kill. Charizard is just a little bit too thick for that to work. Yeah, anyway, good spacing on that uh flare blitz, just getting that auto snap. These, this armor is just nuts. The way that oh. Kirby Kid makes use of it, and once again, belly armor after belly armor after belly armor, going to make it so that that stock goes down. And this is not going to be another two stock in a row. But that air dodge could be really air. bad. The air is going to come out. I don't oh, see Kirby Kid making it back. Oh, oh baby! Did Immediately, Kirby Kid was going to tear him into uh, oblivion. This is his chance, man. Will Ned regret throwing away that stock at 20, or will Kirby Kid? No, that's it, yeah. No, nah, Ned won't regret throwing away that stock at 20. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate, but, uh, no, not going to work. Yeah, going up 2-0 here, I really don't know if Kirby Kid ever played another character. So... Uh, Kirby Kid does have a pocket Min Min. Uh, we saw the Min Min come out earlier. Uh, here's my other friend, my other best friend. It's Tachanka from Rainbow Six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we did see it. If you see before the top eight part of the bracket, he went min-min against Best Nest. Did drop the first game, but won the next two games is K. Rule, and we saw the famous Kirby Dad pop-off. So, uh, honestly, if you reverse 3-0 Ned here, I think he... Because this matchup is brutal, and we're seeing it in fruition. 
But Ned already eliminating the two seed in Sonics in losers quarters, man. So uh, honestly, just getting the elimination on Skittles, he's sitting very comfortable now, uh, and he's poised for a, a rematch against Meister, which just happened in Grand Finals last night in Xanadu as well. Click a spawn. I'm sorry, I just saw in chat someone calling me a spawn peeking Jaeger main. No, I main Doc. I got that I Acog, know. baby. Guess the oh, I think of the jab lock because it didn't put Carol in the tumble. Carol's a little bit too big for that. But 105% unanswered. He's keeping it going. For that F smash at ledge, but Ned, you know, he eats the crown. It's not going to do too much to him. It doesn't really affect him all that much. All right, here we go. Get the back air against the sour hit of it, though. Does he want Ivy Sword? Yes, he does. Oh, it doesn't get the timing, but the up air will be not enough. Wow, I'm surprised. A uh, neutral air will send him the wrong direction, but 168% K rule is bleeding. Kirby Kid is going to lose the stock up till the pivot turn around up till wow. Nice control with this character's movement. Oh, didn't get it for the grab. I think looking for something enough. and Kirby Kid trying to force oh. his way off ledge and is going to do it with crown up air, looking for another up air, but he's not going to be able to pronounce it. go, he's got a chance. Oh, the neutral air, not the ledge trap. Oh, yeah, gets facing from Ned to avoid that, man. That's a counterplay. Blunderbuss, just avoid the wind box. Gonna avoid the dash attack as well, but the stock could be huge. Burned one of his jumps, gonna make it back on the stage on top. Oh, wow. Did not look like the best DI for that. So that's Kirby Kid taking first stock for seemingly the first time. Or if he did it before, he definitely didn't do much off of it. Back throw, yeet. Nope. No yeet there, but Kirby Kid living at 189%. The mash. Kirby Kid showing signs of life. He did take a game last night in loser's quarters uh, against Ned. So they're at Xanadu. Again, Ooh. taking a game, pretty nice, but Kirby Kid's got to take three in a row. Um, and that's the, that's the hard thing. Yeah, it's got to take this one for sure. It's uh, looking like the best chance possible, too. 75% on the second stock, the deepest fast fall forward. It doesn't matter. K rule can make those uh, recoveries. And a good reaction from Ned on that roll. Make the recovery, but he's not going to live through the up smash. You know who else isn't going to live through an up smash? Squirtle. Squirtle's going to die pretty early. It's a light character. Yeah, Squirtle's out of here, man. Really clean stuff on Kirby Kid. He has a signs of life here in this game. Running it right back to Battlefield for the third time, and he's actually showing the adaptation in real time. 36%. Oh, and a trade. And he burned the resources. It burned him again. Oh, just keeps hacking on this damage. 87%. Ned is struggling. Oh, ooh, I like this. But it doesn't get the follow-up. Ooh, armor. Ned for something off stage, showing yeah. signs of life is Kirby Kid connecting with that dare at ledge. Fantastic play, and he takes a game. All right, no blowouts here in losers finals. You can take a game, you can take the set, but let's see what game four has to answer. Let's see if Ned can counter adapt or if Kirby Kid is. Figure something out, man. Some counterplay. I think the biggest deal, obviously, is if you're heavy against these bad matchups, you want to get the first stock. I cannot stress that enough, man. That's the mentality I go into when I play Ganon, and that's why we saw him take the game convincingly, man. Kirby Kid taking that first stock and putting himself in an amazing position uh, to not get blown out. So Definitely, no 3-0 is an impressive thing to see from Kirby Kid, especially in K. Rule Pokemon Trader. Looks like we're going to small battlefield for this game four. Uh, I wonder what we'll see Ned do here. Who set Kirby Kid into losers? Wasn't it? Wasn't it uh, Mike in winner's finals? Yeah. So Kirby Kid needs to win two games if he wants to rematch. But Ned, it looks very convincing in games one and two. He's got Swirl combos to start out with. Doesn't get too much off of that exchange. It doesn't shield the jab three. Jab threes are very laggy in a lot of characters. And the best time to get an opening. But let's see if Kirby Kid. Ooh, really amazing withdrawal right there. Kind of just stopped me in my train of thought right there. The, the withdrawal just kind of shook Kirby Kid too for a second. Looking for something to get started here. Kirby Kid is kind of falling into the same trap that he was caught in in games uh, games one and two. And this is definitely evident that it's uh, it's Ned's counterpick because Ned is just absolutely running away with the momentum here. Almost got the read right there. Had the spacing well. Didn't get punished by the forward air. And now he's got the ledge trap continuing. Will be an aggressive option? No. Here we go. Excellent roll. 
Gonna try to shut the door on this stock, but doesn't matter. No down airs and hard F punish. Smash. Not gonna take it. Wow. That looks like a soft hit. Might be like a blind hit rocks or something. Because that definitely should have blown him up. Oh, here we go. Oh, I like that. Good DI from Kirby Kid to avoid the upbeat follow up. The Vine Whip definitely would have devastated the stock headed in the sweet spot. Looking for it back here. Caught by the. No Blunderbuss. I thought actually that was gonna <laughs> go high enough to hit Zard. But that F tilt from Zard is going to be the first stock. Ned switching back to Squirtle to try and get a lot of percent built up in these. Uh, in these uh, um, interactions off stage, 52%, and Ned will not let up on this dude. There you go, and Ned staying composed, doing the best that he can. 70% on the second Kirby Kid stock, he him off stage. That's where you want K roll, not able to set up shop. The harassment coming up from Ned, not letting up any of the pressure. Just but here comes it. the dare parade. Yeah. Uh, here comes the dare parade. Another one. One more. Another one. One more. Oh, he misses it. Time, that was huge. Miss times the dairy. Doesn't get another one. <laughs> I think it was like five. That was funny. Yep. There we go. But there goes the croc, and it's looking like we might be seeing either a three stock or a two stock in this game three. And then oh, Ned heading on to winners finals see? to face. Oh, I know he wanted that beast string. Did you see that uh, that aerial uh, aerial drift backwards from Ned to after he recognized that uh, that Kirby Kid pulled out the counter? Yeah, that's crazy stuff here. Kirby Kid with a chance at a combo doesn't want to get shut out in a three stock fashion with this stage spike. Always got the text though. Kirby Kid's had every single text tonight. So his Over text there. and his mash are both counter. on point. Wow, what a counter. <laughs> Love the belly, that. man. Who would win? One, was it just a, like insanely fast dragon Pokemon or freaking k Golden flame, Belly? Who would win? The flaming dragon or one scaly boy? Yeah, right. Uh, get him out of here, man. But uh, Ned's still 86% on the final stock here for Kirby Kid. What can he do to close it out, man? Kirby Kid is bleeding. Hit him pretty hard. That's what I'm guessing. He's gonna throw out a move that hurts, and Kirby Kid might die. Oh, uh, here we go. Looking for a chance. I think down here actually would have connected. I think Ned was more focused on getting back to the stage than he was with getting a getting a finishing move. He's got plenty of time. Oh no, I, I mean, I mean Kirby Kid. They're up smash. I fantastic DI from Kirby Kid. We've just gotta continuously commend that because wow. Ooh. How many people would have lived that? Not many. Ned could just shamelessly do whatever he wants now. He could just fish for killing moves for two entire stocks. Uh, He's got so much space to play with. It doesn't matter what Kirby Kid does. Up throw, going to take it. 100%. Yeah, there we go. What a run, though, from Kirby Kid, man. Putting so many players into losers, man. Sonic, Hungrybox, Best Nest. This guy was on a run today, making it in the top three of Juicebox number 21. But Ned advancing the grand finals.